What shape does this equation create? Absolute x to the power n plus absolute y to the power n equals 1. As the exponent changes, the entire shape changes with it. It shrinks into a star, grows into a circle, and eventually becomes almost a perfect square. This is the super ellipse. But how does the math actually work? Let's plot them together. Let's begin with a small exponent, n equals 0 0.5. In the first quadrant, the equation becomes the square root of x plus the square root of y equals 1. Try plugging in x equals 0 0.25. The square root of 0 0.25 is 0 0.5. So the square root of y must also be 0 0.5. That means y equals 0 0.25. Because the exponent is less than 1, the curve bends inward, forming concave edges and sharp tips. Reflect it across the y-axis. Nothing changes, because the absolute value of negative x is the same as positive x. Now reflected across the x-axis, the full shape appears. With n below 1, we get a dramatic four-pointed star. Now let's set the exponent to 1. This gives the equation absolute x plus absolute y equals 1. In the first quadrant, both x and y are positive, so this simply becomes x plus y equals 1. It's not curved at all. It's a straight-line segment. Now reflect this across the y-axis. Replacing x with negative x gives absolute negative x plus y equals 1. But absolute negative x is identical to absolute x, so the reflected piece has exactly the same shape. Next, reflect both segments across the x-axis. That creates absolute x plus absolute negative y equals 1. And again, absolute negative y is the same as absolute y, so the bottom two edges fit perfectly into place. When the exponent is 2, the equation becomes absolute x to the power 2 plus absolute y to the power 2 equals 1. Because squaring removes any sign, this simplifies to x squared plus y squared equals 1. That is the standard unit circle. Here is the first quadrant arc. Now reflected across the y-axis. Negative x squared is exactly the same as positive x squared, so the curve mirrors perfectly to the left. Next, reflect across the x-axis. Negative y squared is the same as positive y squared. The bottom half appears, completing the full circle. Here, the exponent is 5. The equation becomes absolute x to the power 5 plus absolute y to the power 5 equals 1. To see what this does, try x equals 0 0.5. 0 0.5 to the power 5 is approximately 0 0.03. That leaves y to the power 5 equal to 0 0.97, so y is roughly 0 0.99. This pushes the curve outward and makes the corner nearly flat. Now, reflect the shape across the y-axis. The point with negative x produces the same y value, so the left side matches perfectly. Next, reflect everything across the x-axis. Negative y gives the same result because we raise it to the fifth power. All four pieces together form a rounded square, with sharp corners and very flat edges. Now, set the exponent to 10. The equation is absolute x to the power 10 plus absolute y to the power 10 equals 1. Try x equals 0 0.5. 0 0.5 to the power 10 is about 0 0.001. So y to the power 10 must be 0 0.999, which means y is almost 1. The top becomes practically flat. Reflecting across both axes doesn't change anything, because raising positive or negative x or y to the 10th power gives the same result. The full curve looks almost like a square, but with gently rounded corners. Here is the full evolution. From the sharp star at n equals 0 0.5, to the diamond at 1, the circle at 2, the hyperlipse at 5, and the squircle at 10. As the exponent grows without bound, the shape approaches a perfect square. 